So we just got a level 5 vision full of information, and now we have a blog post. I have no idea if this is going to have anything new, but I figured I might as well give you guys my reaction to it, and we can just have a general look. Who knows? But okay, so here we go. This is a blog post, March 9th, a blog post, a blog post by Hino. New video release, level 5 vision. I'll put it out here too. Important information. All right, so we've got the trailer, and then we've got this. Okay, 25 years later, Heroes Victory Road is set in a world 25 years later after the time axis of the first in Azuma 11. I made the choice I wanted to create an unrefined story from scratch. Speaking of that kind of worldview, some people may be looking forward to the appearance of older characters from the past, like in the Temer arc, but at the moment, past characters are not appearing, and this time axis, I think I'll run through the ending with only the character off. And as you may guess, Endo Haru, who appeared in the PV, is the son of Endo Mamoru. I think he's how personality has appeared in this so far. So please look forward to what kind of person he is. So this guy, bloody brown hair guy, he's Mark's son. Where is he? Where is the mad lad? Here he is. He's Mark's son. Okay. Hell yeah. And the last boss school this time is Kan... Okay, so this is the final boss school. Kana... Kanamarimum. Kanamarim. Kanamarin Junior High School. It's one of the things I want to do with this project. Until now, the player is Kanamarin, and the story becoming the best in Japan has continued, but in the end, Kanamarin is the strongest in the image of the player who can't lose any anything. No matter how much the soccer is in a uh, soccer club is in a pinch, it's Kanamarin Junior High School that will work out. It's going to be, if so, take advantage of it. Yes, Kanamarin High School is uh, the strongest. I think I thought about doing it that. However, Kanamarin Junior High School has problems in Kanamarin Junior High School, and that area is a drama. I have no idea what any of that means. But uh, only Kanamarin can win. Sure, but we can see cool art here, and we know the final school is Kanamarin. I don't know if this is meant to be Rhymon. I don't know. We'll find that out from people smarter than me translating this. But it does give us, uh, if we open up this image, we can see over here, we can see the tower. So this is an Azuma town, so that will be in the game. So I'm assuming this is meant to be some kind of Rhymon thing, especially if we're going to assume it has Mark's son on it. Sick. And a new school, Nagamaro, Na Naguma Barra. Sure. Till now, the maps, in, in, that must be Rhymon, right? Ever met? Yeah, so I'm assuming that means the final school this time that we're going to take on is Rhymon. Don't quote me on that. We'll have a full video out tomorrow, which will be a full analysis explaining all of this. This is just my initial reaction. Till now, the maps in Kanamarin have remained almost the same in these series progress. They may have lacked freshness. I will open this image as well and you tab and we'll have a look. This town is completely new, so you can fully enjoy the new location. Even outside the school, it is not in Azuma Town, but the beautiful townscape of Nagamahara, a fictitious town in Nagasaki. I hope you'll make this new discoveries in the new world. Where are we? Okay, so we can see there's a beach. That's hyped as hell. The school looks beautiful. I love the, the height. We'll just make sure we know how tall Sasanumi is. Okay, then we've got this art. This is the new guy, isn't it? This, uh, this guy over here the, the, in the bottom corner. He looks awesome. I love it. I'm so excited. I'm actually like so, so excited. The danger of all past characters is appearing. In Azuma 11, a long day in development. Now that we've come this far, I want to do something that will excite the fans. It's easy to say, we're all going to appear. Of course, there's no way the data from the DS can be used. So the programmers use AI and deep learning to create high quality polygon data from character illustrations of past data. Found it by all means, please try playing the characters you liked in the past. Bro, first of all, in Azuma 11, using that AI, uh, that AI tech, terrifying. But also... That means that, yeah, all the past characters are going to appear using AI-generated models, I think, of their illustrations or whatever from the past games. So that's sick. Okay, hell yeah. I mean, if that 4,500 characters are going to be in this game, uh, I'm going to lose my mind. I don't know what I'm going to do when I get to the actual game, but that's so exciting. I love it. It's incredible. In Azuma Caravan. Yes! This time I didn't do anything unreasonable, such as time slipping in the main story centered on Ume. Lol. Nice. Beyond time, we will collect characters from the past history of Inazuma, then proceed with the battle aiming to defeat the final boss team set in Chronicle Mode. As we know, Chronicle Mode, by the way, is going to be like a Strikers, a Ghost Strikers 2013 type deal with like a big map. It's going to look really cool. But it's going to be easy, so I'd like you to create a team through trial and error and take the time to develop it while taking your time. I'm going to cry. This is so exciting. Uh, animation production by Mappa. Simon will work with Mappa, who is known for high quality animation, to produce the animation part, making use of the work I've done so far. I'll challenge myself to create a new level of screen. This excites me a lot because, and I'll say why, Professor Layton seems to be going down the 3D route. And so I'm so happy that Inazuma 11 is going down the act, like they're, they're still going down the hand drawn animation route. Not necessarily hand drawn, but you know what I mean? Like that's the 2D style. I think that's fantastic. 
I'm so excited about that. I'm so excited for this. I can't wait for the cutscenes. Can't wait to understand them as well. Because an English release. Let's play soccer all over the world. One of the reasons I need a little more time is the realization of this system and the game will be released all over the world at the same time. We're released all over the world. Does someone say at the same time? You know, you bad boy. And you can't play against people from other countries. Uh, it is remembered love not only by people in Japan, but also by people in other countries. Hell yeah. And we want to create a situation where people can play together with them. I'm sure it's possible to rush the game as it's only available in Japan. But I'd like to somehow overcome this difficult problem and play with people from all over the world. Okay. That does kind of make it sound like he hasn't figured it out yet. But I'm going to ignore that. The next big information will be released around summer. Okay, so it's not going to come out in summer. I still think November 2023 is, is the most likely. But we'll see. Um, yeah, I would like to put out some information, but is there a version like Fire Slash Blizzard? What is the theme song for this time? More like a new character. What will the enemy team come up with? Who is the main cast? I'd like to schedule around summer as the next information comes around. I really hope that means we're going to find out the theme song in summer. I can't wait. <laughs> I'm sure as many of you are waiting impatiently on the release date announcement, but as I wrote above, we're working on it carefully and steadily. I want to release VN to make software that can be played for three to five years, so please give us a little more time. Okay, so summer... Release date announcement? Maybe? We'll see. Theme song announcement? Hell yes. <laughs> Please look forward to more news. Okay, so my general, like, big, the big thing from this for me is the fact that it takes place 25 years later, it's a sequel game, um, and that this guy is Mark Evans' son. That excites me a lot. Um, as for the rest of it, I'm so, I'm so excited. We know some new characters here. I'm going to have to do so many breakdowns. But like, the next week is going to be full of videos about this. I can't wait. I absolutely can't wait. Uh, and the fact that Rymon, th I'm assuming this means Rymon. I will obviously double check that. Uh, I'm assuming this means Rymon is going to be the final school. Can't wait. So much about this to get excited for. And if you, by the way, if you still think this game will get delayed, let's just, uh, Professor Layton didn't have a release date in the trailer. This does. 2023. So I am genuinely confident this will come out this year. I cannot wait. If you guys are as excited as I am, make sure you smash the like button down below. Subscribe if you want to make sure you see all of my videos about Victory Road of Heroes and so many, so many things to get excited for. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye. <laughs>